Hello YouTube, today we're going to talk about attitude in your mandolin playing. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I want to give you that invitation to subscribe, turn on notifications, and if you're looking for some Skype lessons, you can hit me up. You'll find an email in the description. Also, information about my tip jar that I have set up through PayPal. Okay, today we're going to talk about attitude in your play, and I'm going to give a shout out to Terry Balkum for hooking me up with this long sleeve t-shirt that I really love, and it's the perfect way to open this conversation about attitude in your playing. It doesn't have to be a mandolin player that would influence something that you do and give you that certain spunk that so many great bluegrass players have. When we think about driving banjo players, you know, Terry Balkum could easily be the first person that comes to mind, or perhaps J.D. Crow, certainly two of my favorites, and we're going to get on this topic of mandolin players and the attitude that they play with. It's part of the tradition of bluegrass. If you listen to Bill Monroe's playing and the confidence in his delivery, if you don't find something in your own bluegrass mandolin playing that would be similar to that or at least influenced by that, even if it's through other generations of players, it, that element is supposed to be handed down, and it's certainly something that all mo, the majority of uh, my heroes, as far as bluegrass mandolin players are concerned, if you took the attitude out of what they do, the, the whole personality and identity in their playing, there would be a huge void left because it's a big part of everyone's playing. We think of Sam Bush, confidence in delivery and... Uh, just an authority that he plays with that you can't deny. You could say the same thing about Doyle Lawson, Adam Steffi, Alan Bobby, all these players that have just that certain, um, I don't know, confidence is probably going to be a hard word to beat to describe this. Okay, so now we're going to go on to one of my all-time heroes, Ricky Skaggs, and the attitude that he plays with. Here's a clip. This is a real treasure that it was ever captured because there's not very much video on the Boone Creek band. But listen to this delivery and uh, just carefree spirit in this playing. Okay, I love everything about that. His tone, delivery, note selection, improvisational, it's in the moment. There's so many things to be said about attitude. Okay, so I'm going to play something now. The intro to uh, I Ain't Broke. This is a tune that I try to get some of that Skaggs element into my playing and then kind of improvise some on the back half. Fun tempo to play. Russell sings this one in C. I'll try my intro. So some of that same poppy kind of spirit it's really tough to play those intros like that by yourself because when you don't have like the banjo roll, like the way Terry Balkum would be playing the banjo as you were playing that intro, it gives you something to bounce your spirit off of. And the whole element of what they're doing coming back at you is such an inspirational thing. So much, you can learn so much more jamming like that, even with the record, 
than you can playing with a metronome where we feel ourselves play in front of or behind the beat, you know, to find the right sensibility to a song or to attitude that we're trying to play. So many times what really happens is that the chemistry between two people, now we're bringing it, you know, full circle to where your attitude is one thing. Everybody else's attitude has a lot to do with it as well. When everybody's on the same page, that's when the magic can happen with music. So let's try to keep this in mind. These are the subjects that it's so easy to not spend enough time talking about because so many times these videos can be sterile. I mean, when you're talking about a scale or a certain fretboard study that we're into, we become very far removed from the way music is played in the moment and captured in that moment. And we need to know the fretboard and all of those fundamentals so well that we can stop thinking about that and think about the cooler aspects of music like attitude.